interpersonal communication. Yay! Chapter 6. Woo! Hey! I hope you're listening. I hope you're listening. Okay? Chapter 6 is all about listening. And I'm super excited. I really am. Uh, my name's Mike Joswack. I'll be your instructor for the day. Oh, oh, look! I, I got a bunch of I, I I got a bunch of lecture notes. All right, so let's pretend to wet my pencil and uh, and we'll get going here. Okay, all right, all right. Just yesterday, I I launched into this thing about listening. Yesterday, if you were playing attention, uh, you got definitions for hearing. You got definitions for hearing. You also got definitions for listening and then critical listening, the ability to hear something plus a fix a meaning for understanding, which is listening, plus making a judgment or evaluating what you're listening to. You're going like this, you're going like this, you're going, hmm, hmm, he doesn't look like he needs help. The SOS, remember? Okay, well, you should. Hey, at the end of yesterday, I launched right into something without acknowledging what I was even doing. I, I got ahead of myself. That never happens. <laughs> yeah, well, I did. I got ahead of myself. Okay, I launched into the purposes for critical listening. The purposes for critical listening. There are three purposes for critical listening. There are three purposes for critical listening. And we started to talk about them yesterday, but I want to make sure because some of the test questions go, well, the, uh, the purposes for critical listening are, okay, so, so the purposes for critical listening, there's three of them. Yeah, yeah, one of the three has everything to do with relationships. It does. And I'm going to argue one more time for you because this is, this is so important. It really is. If you want to be a better best friend, if you want to be a better soulmate, if you want to be a better life partner with someone, critical listening. Listen to them. Let it resonate. Their message needs to get in. And it needs to get in through your ears. But then it's critical and it's crucial that you evaluate, that you evaluate. Like I said yesterday, sometimes you need to sort of listen between the lines. Don't forget how important those nonverbals are. 93% of the communication, you better be listening. You better be listening to what they're not saying. Eh, the tone of voice, the hand gestures. All right. The other thing inside a relationship that I think is paramount, and we are going to see this develop in chapters 9 and chapter 10, but the whole concept of empathy, the whole concept of empathy, connection at the heartstrings, that pathos-esque, you know, connection, as Aristotle would describe it, all right? That connection is super important. In other words, I am going to highly encourage you to not only listen with your ears, but to listen with your heart. To listen with your heart, with intentions of connection, with intentions of love. All right? Oh man, oh woman, will that build a relationship? And we are going to see how to do that, systematically how to do that, as we progress into chapters 9, but especially in chapters 10. Uh, chapter 10? <laughs> chapters. Chapter 10, where I give you the skills needed to maintain that best friend or soulmate relationship. Good? Hang on for that ride. Ah, it's going to be nothing but fun. Um, you know, uh, I can tell it's either late at night or early in the morning, you know? I just pulled my hair back because it's driving me crazy. Oh, I have my, my favorite sweater on. It's got a small hole in it here. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get that patched up. We'll get, <laughs> we'll get, that, all, we'll get that all fixed up. And sometimes, if you're not critical listening, sometimes 
if you don't critically listen or, or, or ingest with your ears the intent of that sender, sometimes you can't, you know, fix up, patch up your relationships. Be cautious of that. Then let's look at the other two. We've already alluded to them using the STAR model. The other two have everything to do with building a bigger brain, building your own truth, and then acting accordingly so that you can cut the strings of the puppet that we sometimes are after that dogmatic truth is shoved at us. Chapter three. Okay, so the, you know, the other two purposes, purposes for critical listening are to let information come into your ears through the great explore phase of the star model. The great explore. You have to listen to things, okay? But even more importantly, critical listening. You have to listen to things and then judge things. You need to judge things, all right? Judge them against your heart of hearts, as my grandmother used to say. Judge them against who you really are at your inner core. All right, all right. Then, really quite frankly, critical listening becomes super important in the action phase because you have listened, you have listened in the explorer phase, you've taken things in through your ears, you've judged them, judged those new truths now, you get to act accordingly, all right? And I'm super excited. You can be a better you. You can be a better you through critical listening and, and you can be a better best friend. Whoa, bonus time. All right, all right. Uh, that's really all I wanted to say is that I got ahead of myself a little bit. <clears throat> I wanted to drive home today the reasons that we should care in the first place. The purposes, why, why Joe's like, why, why, what, what? Well, the purposes for critical listening, loving others and maintaining those close connections at that life partner, soulmate, best friend level and loving ourselves to build a bigger brain, to establish our own truth, to act accordingly that's called freedom and emancipation and developing the ultimate you. Boy, oh boy, the ultimate you? You wait for that in chapter seven. We're going to study Maslow. We are. And the pinnacle of Maslow has everything to do with the ultimate you. Wait, where, where are you? Where are you? There you are. The, ult, the, ult, the ultimate you. Yeah, Dixon Ticonderoga, best pencil made in America. All right. All right. I wanted to keep this to 10 minutes. Oh, oh, <laughs> eight, eight and a half, eight and a half. I'm nothing if not excited. We have more to do, though, in this chapter. And again, this chapter is near and dear to my heart because of how important it is. Purposes for critical listening. Bye.